So the passage we looked at on Sunday in Matthew 28 called the Great Commission. In this story, the disciples are about to meet Jesus after he's being resurrected as he tells them to meet him in Galilee. It's likely that some of the disciples were anxious to meet Jesus. Some of them probably feeling that because they abandoned him, Jesus was about to tell them off. But this wasn't the case at all. In fact, Jesus wanted them to be involved in a very big mission. So Jesus appears to his disciples and he says he wants them to go and make disciples of all nations. So that meant that this good news gospel that Jesus is alive is not just for the Israelites, but it's for all people. And on Sunday, we looked at because Jesus has all power and authority over heaven and earth, he's able to send out commands because he has the highest authority over all things. So even though Jesus is speaking to his disciples, he's speaking to the church today. He's speaking to you and I. Anyone that calls himself a disciple is meant to go and make more disciples. And we do this by teaching people about Jesus and everything that he has commanded in the Bible. But first, we need to be living it out. Jesus is calling us to this global mission, but we are not alone. I know it seems impossible and you feel like, actually, I don't know everything in the Bible, but you are not alone because Jesus tells his disciples that he will be with them right to the very end of the age.